Welcome everyone, Questine here with more Total War Pharaoh. I am about to trigger the Sea People's Invasion, which will happen after turn 100. Now how this works, I'm not entirely certain to be quite honest with you. Do they just spawn on the same timer every single time or do they have a range of turns that they can spawn after turn 100? I don't know. This campaign is Irsus' campaign and they're gonna spawn next turn. Whether or not that's the case in every campaign is a different discussion. You can disable the sea people through campaign customizations. So you don't have to deal with them. The way they work is throughout the campaign, you're going to get constant evasions from the Libyan desert people, the L Libyan raiders. And you're also going to get constant evasions via the sea. So if you're a Tosret or Amun Mess, this is an issue you're going to have to deal with the Libyans. If you're anyone else, you're going to have to deal with the coastal attacks or and also the desert people at the same time. Like, you're probably going to have to fight both of them at the same time. But after turn 100, you get the major invasion. So let's trigger that and see how it plays out. always feared the nature of the deep blue waters. Fearless. Willful. Ruthless. Unstoppable. Threat the day, the tide might bring them back. The people of the sea. Even Canaan can rise at times like these. All right, lowering the volume so we can see that. We're getting Luca attacking me and my well vassals. Then we get uh, Shekalesh, so Huzlu, that are going to be attacking as well. Yes, I do have a lot of vassals over here. And that's it, but this is just going to be the beginning. Let me see if I can find them. Uh, to demonstrate would be great if I there we go. so they're gonna spawn in large numbers very large numbers in fact over here in the campaign and they're not gonna stop for a fairly reasonable length of time like you're gonna deal with stack after stack after stack and it's not just going to be those initial factions. It's going to be more of them. Also, more Libyans just spawn. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a great situation. Qu uh, yeah, quite a few uh, Libyans just spawned over here in the desert. That is um, not a pleasant situation, suffice to say, over here. So, let's just end this turn. Actually, I might just take my army over here if I can find what there we go there's the raiders uh do i have an army that's in nearby that can deal with these guys guess not i only had their sue and he's gone so yeah we just deal with like i just ignore it all right so they wiped that out and we'll start seeing what exactly is coming because keep in mind there's going to be more of them coming than just the ones the two factions that just spawned so you get you get these three factions already as you can see like one of them was already existing so yeah here come here they come and you can see that they have quite a few units at their disposal over there 
full stacks of troops coming in. And there's Erso. Oof, that's a... So we, we can see like they've got tier 5 units. Unfortunate situation, but... Um, I mean, I just want to get vision, right? It's not serious. Alright. So we can start getting more. There will be basically free... Uh, free factions on the sea, and yeah, I got a bunch of assholes to see them. By the way, I learn from every so this is the full might of the sea people the coming. They have tier four, tier five Not units over here, elite units ever. in these armies, and for about twenty turns, they're not going to stop coming. What happens when now? Eventually, like at the, about 100, uh, turn 120, 125, they do start showing up. Your goal to win, if you will, against them is to survive for about 140 turns. So, survive the invasion of sea people, you just need to get to a turn 140, and that, that will be considered... It's not considered as a win condition in your campaign, but it will give you 10 victory points. It's very easy to win a minor victory in a campaign. Uh, ultimate victory takes a bit, but you don't need to do this in order to... Uh, you don't need to do this in order to win the campaign. And yeah, I am rank 1 because, well, this is Ursus' mighty empire, basically. So, let me show you what happens once you deal with them. In my dreams, I can see them still. Warriors, the people of the sea. The whole earth was emptied. No land could stand against their force. And then, like a whisper on the western wind, they were gone. Mighty Set, master of storms, shaker of the heavens. He had closed the door in the north, and the invaders came no more. By Ra's will, the world survived. At least, for now. And for whatever reason, uh, the cinematic there doesn't... The cinematic I just played in that campaign, by the way, doesn't get added over here. Uh, though I think these cinematics are just like representative of the Civil Wars. I'm, I'm not sure really what's missing and why some cinematics haven't been added for me over here. But that is, uh, that was with the Sea People. You survive for basically like 25 turns against, let's say, a two dozen stacks of troops coming in from the desert. Because the Libyans are also not going to let up. And from the sea, they are going to attack all coastal settlements. And you try and hold them back as best you can. The goal of building a massive empire in this game is to survive that. Though, keep in mind, like, I've played customized campaigns. In a customized campaign where you, can, where you have lower upkeep, you can start more, more resources, it's far easier to get to a very strong position. Keeping it, however, in a base campaign, that's trickier. Now, how, how I feel about this, how I feel about Total War Pharaoh... Yeah, that's a different discussion that I'll talk about in my review of the game. Kosti and signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications. Stay tuned for more.